Hello, and welcome to this short video on using Oracle CaseSplice in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle CaseSplice enables you to upgrade an Oracle Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu, and CentOS kernel with no downtime. In the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, images for Oracle Linux include CaseSplice and include the internal repository configuration. And as mentioned, for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu, and CentOS deployed instances, CaseSplice is supported in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. For this video, we will use an Oracle Linux instance for demonstrating using Oracle CaseSplice. Customers receive Premier support for Oracle Linux instances as part of the agreement to use Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle provides direct access to resources that would otherwise require a ULN account. This includes access to an Oracle CaseSplice repository dedicated to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure customers. And Oracle Linux images include CaseSplice and the configuration necessary to use the repository. There are a couple of advantages to accessing the dedicated repository. First, there is no public internet network bandwidth penalty for running CaseSplice. And second, you experience better performance when running CaseSplice. Let's take a look. In this demonstration, we have an SSH session to an instance on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. The instance is running Oracle Linux release 7 update 5. We'll start the bash session as super user so we can run all the following commands without sudo. With CaseSplice already installed on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance, we can look at the uptrack configuration file. At the top, there is an access key for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure users. Further down the file, you see the uptrack updates repository location, which has been configured so that no communication with it goes over the public internet. The uptrack show command output shows that no updates have been installed in this instance and the effective kernel version is 4.1.12-124.18.5. The uname-or command gives the original kernel version. The uptrack uname-or command shows the effective kernel versions, which is currently the same as the original. We'll clear the screen and enter uptrack-upgrade to run CaseSplice on the instance. The list of updates appears and you get the prompt to go ahead. We'll enter Y. All the updates are applied and the effective kernel version appears. Again, use the command uname-or to see the original kernel version. And again, use uptrek-uname-or to see the effective kernel version. Last, we'll use the uptrek show command to see all installed updates and the effective kernel version. In this video, we explained that CaseSplice is automatically provided to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure customers. CaseSplice keeps Oracle Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Ubuntu, and CentOS instances up to date with the latest kernel patches, and it does this without having to take the instance out of service. You saw the CaseSplice configuration file that is part of the installation that comes with Oracle Linux instances, and we ran CaseSplice and compared kernel versions. Please check out more Linux training at Oracle University by visiting education.oracle.com slash linux and for more information or to get started on oracle cloud infrastructure go to cloud.oracle.com you can find more training for oracle linux on oracle cloud infrastructure at the shortened url shown here that ends the presentation thanks for watching